Just three races remain before Season 3 of SPS comes down to the wire, and the championship chase just keeps getting even more exciting. Hello everybody, my name is Rudolph Jones, and you bring you live flag to flag coverage of the first ever race from the Homestead Miami Speedway. As I said, with just three races left, Iowa and Peoria remain on the schedule. Jake Cole notching his first pole of the season. He'll start alongside Bobby Sweats. Chris Summers, he needs to win. Or else that guy just a couple spots behind him, Sean Galligan, will secure the championship. Tyler Speed will start alongside Chris. CJ Sorensen, Wes McCall, Paul Fodd, and Sean Galligan will round out your top ten. And here we go. Pace car is off, and Jake Cole will lead him off to the start for the first time this season. Oh, come on. And he'll immediately try and get to the lead here. Chris Summers hot on his tail. Summers is going to do all he can because, as you know, he's trying to get a win so he can get higher up in the championship. So here comes CJ Sorens and his teammate. Whoa! Almost turned him there. And now Cole going to run away. Trying to keep this lag known. Don't worry, guys. And Ford now is the top four, but here comes Paul Fodd. Now Ford will only have the top three. Trying to secure that third spot for Chevrolet. Here comes Summers. Trying to stay with that 05. And he's doing a pretty good job so far. But oh boy. His rival, Sean Galligan, just a few spots behind him. He's He's got to hope Sean gets a major slip. This Summers had better hope for a miracle if he's going to win this championship. As I said, with just three races left, Sean's got a 40-point lead at the moment. Summers, a win can buzzsaw that lead down even more, but Sean will have to finish way farther back. And here we go. He might have the run right here. Uh, no. Jake Cole is really hoping for that win. We're going to take a short break. And try and keep his lag down. Welcome back, everybody. Summers is still tra trailing Jake Cole. He just can't find a way by him. And it's still lagging. I'm trying to keep his lag down, everybody. I just, oh, I say this so much, but you know it's true. And, well, ignore the lag. Jake Cole has not won since Season 2 at Kansas. And this season has just been rough for that 05 car. Couldn't just couldn't get anything done. His teammate, Troy Castle, on the other hand, top 5 in standings and doing fantastic. We'll be getting some, well, not in this race, but Castle will be getting some new primary sponsorship next season from DQ Grill and Chill. Champion will uh, still be on the car, but um, just cutting back on their sponsorship. Castle not doing the best right now, but... And Summers has wrestled the lead away from Cole. Let's see how he did it. So here's how Summers did it. Got him right in the turn. Whoa. Got a real good run there. And this is how he got by him. And now he's trying to open up a gap. Cole doing a good job staying with him, but Summers, he needs to get this win, as I've said. Paul Fodd, he may, he may be out of the uh, championship contention. He's fallen down to sixth in the point standings. Um, he is trailing Stefan Papias and Troy Castle now. And Sean Galligan, he's getting past, but he's trying to keep this points lead afloat. He's been choking the past couple races, let me say that. But here we go. He's going to try and find his way around good friend CJ Sorensen. 
Sorensen will be back for a couple races next season, but we will mostly be seeing him in the Mobile One Minor Series, which will be finally getting off the ground soon. And the Summers and Cole battle has been quite exciting so far. And they've traded blows. Um, Cole has uh, got the first position. He started first and led the first couple of laps, but Summers found his way around him. Didn't need a map to do that. And, oh, there we go. The lag stopped, finally. Okay, there we go. So let's hope we can have a smooth race. And as I, as I was saying, Summers passed him, and now he's in the lead. Looking to lead a few laps. And try and buzzsaw that lead down. The points lead that uh, Sean Galligan has, that is. Uh-oh, here comes the lag again. Uh, well, maybe not. Well, I'm going to stop commenting on the lag. But, oh, Summers really starting to pull away now. Keep in mind, Summers is one of the top, top prospects in this series. He has this series in the palm of his hand. He has three career wins. He got two in Season 1 and one in Season 2. I mean, a four. He's got one this season. And looking for a fifth here today at Homestead. But J. Cole looking for his second. Since debuting, J. Cole has had a rough ride here in SPS. He started off with a great first couple races in his debut in his, day, in his maiden voyage here in um, the Smoke Production series, but since then, just hasn't had much luck around here. Season 2 he did respectable, not too bad, but that season's just been a nightmare. He's down to 34th in the points. Just not good. He might have caught back up to Summers. No. Summers going to pull away again. And look at this battle right here. Stefan Papias finding his way around Paul Fogg. Papias is starting to insert himself in the championship battle. He's up to fourth in the points. Josh Fonseca, who has found himself third in the points, and <laughs> not showing his third in the points um, attitude right now. And... Cole is battling hard, but just can't keep up with that summer heat. Chris Summers. We're going to take another short break, and we'll be right back. And look who's crashing the party. Stefan Papiez has found his way, closing the gap on Jake Cole. He's trying to find his way around him. All he's got to do, to get, he's just got to get around Jake Cole. He's got plenty of time to get up to first, get his third win of the season. He got his first up to Twin Ring Motogi and got his second just a couple races ago at Atlanta. Running for State Farm, which will be his primary sponsor next season. Top Secret will be cutting back. And Fast and All will be jumping on board the number 30. It'll be exciting to see what, the, what Poppy S can do with those guys. Poppy S can't find a way around the 05. But the 05 can't find a way around Summers. Summers is enjoying this. He wants the 30 and the 05 to be battling. He's right on that back bumper, but can't find a way around him. Ooh, will he finally see a No. J. Cole is going to that low lane. The low lane has, has seemed to be the uh, lane of choice here at, at Homestead thus far. And Sean Gallican. He's trying to get into that top five. This guy, I say he's going to win the championship, get his second in a row, win back-to-back -back championships. Wouldn't that be nice to see? Because everybody loves Sean. He's a great guy. He's in the top five, trying to keep that top five spot away from Corey Wong. And Poppy has us caught right up to the 05. He's right there. Just has to get a run. And try and get the 05 loose. Oh, oh, here comes the lag again. Oh, there it goes. And anyways, Summer's starting to create a gap now. Ten laps to go. 
And the clock is ticking for Summers. Even if he gets a win, it won't make much of a difference because Sean Galligan is in fifth. And that points lead is about 50 points. Maybe even more. I could look at the standings, but that would disturb the race. And I want to say it's 50 points or more. Summers, he can win, but that won't do much at this juncture. He's got two races before it all comes down to the wire. Man, has Summers been waiting for this win? He's gotten, quote-unquote, screwed out of it a couple times and lagging again. Great. Come on. Oh, okay, here it goes. Here, all right, there we go. Poppy has tried to try the outside. That's not working. And now Paul... <laughs> Look what you did, Poppy has. Now Paul Fudd. Catch him back up. Well, maybe not. He's trying to open that gap back up. And now, Chris Summers starting to keep that gap pulling away now. Stefan Papias, he's right there on the 05. He just can't get by him. Cole, as you know, led the first couple laps, but Summers will clinch the most laps led. And no way Cole can catch back up now. He's already had a gap behind. And uh, let me try and get this lag down. Hold 